circle for you. I'm Angela. Okay, this is my number. So we're going to call you between 4 and 4.30 this afternoon to tell you your time of arrival. Okay. So as of this time, the OR doesn't know yet because we get cancellation. They move everything around, so that's why I can't tell you a time of this time. Okay. All right, so we'll call you. If you don't hear from us by 5, you give us a call at this number. Okay. No food after midnight tonight. You're not diabetic, mm -hmm. right? You can have water. You can have apple juice if you like it. You can have Gatorade, just no red, no purple. After midnight. This after is. midnight. Okay. okay, you can drink your water. In this bag, it's two drink and two product for surgery. Okay. It's prescribed by anesthesia to give you a boost of energy for your surgery. So make it nice and cold. It tastes better cold. <laughs> it's not milky. Okay. So you drink one bottle tonight before bed, and then in the morning on your way here, you're drinking your second bottle. Oh, as I'm coming here. As you're driving on. Okay. Then you have your antibacterial wash right here to clean your skin, to remove germs from your skin. You like so I can do of my regular body wash? I'm going to go over that okay. with you. So tonight, you're going to change your bed, put some fresh sheets on your bed, get some fresh night clothes to sleep in. So no body wash, you're going to use this. So from your neck to your feet, you're going to soak yourself. No scrubbing. Okay? Just soap up. And then let it sit there for a few minutes, mm -hmm. and then you rinse it off. Do not put it on your face. Do not put it on your private area directly. Mm -hmm. You could use your regular soap or body wash for your private area. Mm -hmm. Wash your face, brush your teeth, rinse your mouth regularly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from here yeah. to your feet. Okay. You dry yourself off with a fresh towel, mm -hmm. go into fresh clothes, fresh mm -hmm. bed. In the morning before you come, you're going to repeat the process. No lotions, no cream, no sprays on your skin. So once you do this, just dry, nothing on the skin. You can use underarm roll on the other end. That's fine. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can't. I have a chest temperature. So. so you can't use no computer. Okay. All right. So we'll leave it clean and dry. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's that. No, no, no cologne, no makeup, none of that stuff. You're gonna drink your drink, you know, stop eating at midnight. Um, no jewelry, no piercings, no valuables with you. You can bring someone with you if you like. They can be in the room when you get ready, it's up to you. Okay? You gotta have you you're gonna be staying over, correct? Um yes, I have to get how many days before. Yes, so bring your little overnight bags yes. with stuff that you would like to have with you. Yeah, you're gonna stay over. Yes. Did they say how many days? Mm -hmm. okay. Usually they come in and check you when you're doing good, they discharge you. Mm -hmm. okay. Right? All right, so tomorrow when you come, you come to registration again. You can remove your wristband when you go home today. When you come, they give you a new one, they're okay. gonna bring you up here. Okay. Everything is on this floor. Surgery is down there, recovery is across there, pre op and post op is over oh, here. Okay. So um, you're going to be in a room like this when you come in. You'll have a nurse. They'll help you to get changed in the hospital gown. Mm -hmm. And they'll put an IV in your arm. Mm -hmm. This IV is for medication and fluids. Yeah. You'll also have the anesthesiologist, who, whoever is going to put you to sleep, mm -hmm. will come and see you mm -hmm. and go over the whole process with you. Mm -hmm. And then your surgeons, both of them are going to come in and see you before mm -hmm. surgery. Okay. Sign up papers, release, and all of that. Okay. So at that point, when they come to see you, if you have questions, that's the time to ask the questions. So you may forget your questions, so I suggest you write down mm -hmm. your questions mm -hmm. for what happens after surgery. If you have questions, mm -hmm. that's the time. Because mm -hmm. when you're here, it's just a whole bunch of stuff going on in your head. You forget everything you wanted uh -huh. to ask. Mm -hmm. Or when you wake up, they tell you stuff. Write it down. Like drugged up. Okay. Yeah. Why are they talking to me yeah. right now? Write it down. Okay. Write down your answers so you have that. Okay. Answer. And we say no aspirin, no ibuprofen, no Motrin, no Aleve, no herbal supplements. Okay. And this is your wash. And remember, remove all jewelry, piercings, and stuff. All right. Yes, so that's it. Do you have any questions? Let me see. What, what medicines do you take? Uh, Humira. 
It's for the shot. It's for the HSS. The HSS. When you get the. I took it this morning. Oh, you took it already. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's once a week. I also take what's called spironolactone to also control it, and that's two. It's a, oh, we don't have to take. Yeah, it's so weird. It's two hundred milligrams, and I have to take it twice in the morning and twice at night. Okay. So I. Take, and what is this? It's called. Had, it's the boils. That is I it? Is the um. What's the other name? Hydrogenitis. Never had surgery for it? I'm going to this summer. Okay, so hydrogenitis. Yeah. You can put HS because that's what they're going by. Yeah, they know this too. Yeah. We, we do this surgery over here. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Oh, we've we got to talk about that. Some doctors who do it. Um, what were we saying? So medicine, your um, spironolactone, your shot, you had, what else? That's it. I stopped the baby. Yesterday. Okay, so tomorrow morning, don't take any medicine okay. in the morning. Okay. What you about can, tonight? Yes. Okay. Tonight, yes. Tomorrow morning, no. no. Okay. They will resume your medicines after surgery. Okay. Okay. Because okay. the spironolactone is a diuretic. Uh, Okay. Yeah, that's why I go so have much. diuretic right before surgery. Okay. All right, so that's it. And so no other questions, right? No, ma'am. Okay. So today we're doing a um, high vent screening. So we have blood available yes. for your surgery. Mm -hmm. We're also doing a pregnancy test because you're <laughs> of that age and it's protocol. I get it. <laughs> and then we're doing a COVID vaccine as you know. Yes, that's it. I just want to say, for the record, I don't even have my tubes are tied, but I get it. <laughs> that's not a criteria. I know. <laughs> Dr. Cohen was the one to tie them too. <laughs> that's not a criteria. Unfortunately, <laughs> things happen in life. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is your instructions for the wash, just in case you forget. Okay. Sign here for me. I'll give you a copy of your instructions. Okay. And these are your goodies. Extra bed, if my husband, when I'm recovering, you know, when I'm spending up there, night, yeah, for him to sleep. You, no, we don't, we're not gonna let him stay here. <laughs> 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 